Good evening and welcome to TR Physics and today I'm going to go through the derivation of the radioactive formulae, decay formulae. Now this is not on the specification at all, however for those who are interested it is really useful to understand where it's come from. Those who are not interested, I do have my next video, will be incorporating how to use this formulae but what I'm going to be doing today is deriving it to see where it comes from. So on the board behind me, I have, this is a graph of the number of radioactive atoms I have in a, uh, a substance and the time, okay? And I spoke about the fact that at each point, the gradient was this, that the gradient of the line was minus lambda, the decay constant of the material, times by the number of particles at that point. And that was a constant throughout. So at this point here, every time I took a gradient, I could relate the gradient to the number of particles. And I noticed that this decay constant was constant. So the gradient of the line is represented by this formula here. Change in uh, n over change in time equals minus n lambda. I'm going to change a little bit of the notation. So I'm going to change this to d and d there. So delta change in, OK? What I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange it. So first off, I'm going to rearrange this formula. So we end up with 1 over n dm equals minus lambda dt. OK? So minus n dn and lambda dt. And what I'm going to do, so I've got the gradient of the line, and I'm trying to find the equation of the line. So to undo differentiation, I have to integrate. So I'm going to integrate these values. Here. And I'm going to integrate them. So I'm not going to use indefinite, I'm going to use a definite integral. And I'm going to integrate them to between point n and the starting point. And the starting point was 0 to time t. So integrating them, I end up with 1 over n integrated is ln n between n and n naught equals minus lambda t between t and 0. I'm now going to input my values in for the respective values. So I have ln n take away ln n naught. Like I said, so that's how you deal with definite integrals. You put one in and then you take away the other. Equals, well I'm going to put t in when I put 0 in, it equals nothing. OK. I'm going to use log laws to simplify this into one logarithm. OK. I'll do that on this board here. So there's ln n divided by n naught equals minus lambda t. To undo a natural logarithm, okay, please remember that a natural logarithm is a log to the base e. So e to the power of this would equal this here. So n over n naught equals e to the power minus lambda t. And you end up with n equals n naught e to the minus lambda t. And that there is the formula you have in the data sheets. You can, of course, relate the number of particles and the number of initial particles to activity. So you can use a equals a naught e to the minus lambda t, OK? because n and a are directly related to each other <coughs> by a constant of lambda. So that is the derivation of the radioactive decay formula. It's not on the specification, but it's really useful to just know where it comes from. 